Okay, so this is, this is a bush company alpha. This is going to be installed on a vehicle with gutters. So Discovery 2, Discovery 1, Defender, uh, Land Cruiser 76, older Land Cruisers. Um, basically any vehicle that's got a gutter on the sides that run down. Now they're all different. GU, GQ, Patrol is different in particular because the gutters on that roll front to rear, uh, meaning that the front is lower than the middle and so on. And they also um, come in, which was nice of Nissan to make it really difficult. So um, with a Nissan GU, GQ, this is an ARB rack foot. This is pretty much, it's their um, 100 mil high one. If you can see at the front here, there's a slot which means that you can raise and lower the roof rack height to get a flat level surface. Now, these are a little bit more expensive but worth spending the money on because uh, they are the foundations for everything that goes from there up, so do it properly. Now, it also makes life easy. They've got nice wide feet, so less damage to the GU GQ, which has got a uh, fairly um, light on gutter system for a big, tough car. So that's the one. Now, there's a few problems with the ARB though. It's not all roses. Number one is that the slots in the top where you would mount that to the females on the bottom of the Bush Company tent, that's one rail. Don't worry about looking at it, but there's a rail under there. Obviously they're side by side, which means that they don't line up. So you need to drill a hole there and a hole there and get them in line. If your vehicle doesn't have a roof roll and you can't be bothered with all that, the next best alternative we've found is the front runner system. Same sort of thing, it's just a gutted roof rack. About the same money, they're about 55 bucks each. But they're already pre-drilled with the holes in a line, but they're not adjustable. So absolutely useless for GU, GQ, but okay for Land Rover stuff. Um, maybe the 76 and 79, I'm not sure if they're dead straight, but I think they are. So check that though, look along it, make sure it's all straight and flat. If you do, just give it, don't give a shit about all that, and you just put something like that on, a rolled roof, as soon as you go to put your tent on, it's not gonna fit. It's gonna rock and roll everywhere, and you're either gonna break your tent, your rack feet, or your roof. So do it properly. A little bit of safety spiel for you here. Please add some eye bolts to the fitting rails on your tent when you're going to lift it. Don't use belly straps, it's really dangerous. Jim's gone and fitted those um, uh, front runner rack feet to the base of the tent, which you can see there. And now he's walking it forward with the uh, walkie stacker. This one goes uh, left and right, as well as reaching out and in and everything else and tilting, which is lovely. Um, you could use a gantry for this job. You definitely can't do this by hand because lifting it that high would be, well, it's at nearly two and a half metres off the ground and it's around 100 kilos, uh, which is not straight up either because you've got to stand beside the car. Be careful too when you're doing this fit up that you don't have belt buckles on things like that or you will scratch your doors. Um, as you lower the tent, these rack feet also scratch your car. So it's important that they're wide and they're adjustable as you go. So we haven't bolted them up tight. So we can move them around a bit as we come down. She's hanging over a little bit at the back, but that's all right. We can go forwards. We can go forwards. So we've got a reach on this one too, which is great. We've brought it before. So awesome. So we're going to go up again. And then reach. Oh, that's awesome. It's the little things. That's better, Jim. Can we go any more? wide roof for the Discovery 2. It actually gets to the edges of uh, what's possible uh, on the Black Series. 
Um, the Black Series is a slightly narrower tent um, and the roof rack feet don't actually fit. They actually end up protruding from the side of the tent so you can only get one nut uh, onto each, each feet, each foot, which is a bit of a problem for the Discovery 2, uh, G-Wagon and other wider roof vehicles, Disco 1. So I've gone forward a little bit. The boys here are telling me I'm crazy, but I like to have that little bit of space there to, um, to turn around before I've got to do the ladder. I don't really run a ladder anyway, I just climb up the back tyre. Um, but yeah, having a bit of space at the back gives me somewhere to turn around before I've got to climb down um, in the night. And also, um, the, it's quite a short wheelbase truck, so getting the weight uh, forward to the back wheel as far as possible helps with the climbing ability um, in the mountains, so I like it forward. Uh, the Land Rover um, and 76 Series and 79 cab insulation with gutters um, would be the easiest insulation for this type of tent, especially with the wider ones, with the Discoveries um, in particular, the Alpha is the, is the right tent for that with a wider roof. Um, the, the reason they're easy is because the gutters are a flat gutter system, i.e. that straight, which should be straight if it wasn't bashed around. But being a straight gut, get straight gutter means there's no adjusting required in the heights at the front and rear. So your GU, GQ patrols, um, which have got a basically a gutter system that tapers in at the rear and also rolls front to rear around about 15 millimetres, requires adjustable rack feet, which don't line up with these slots because the adjustable rack feet um, tend to have double slots here. So you need to re-drill the tops of the feet before you install them. Um, I'll put a bit of detail in there now from a separate video, so you can watch that, uh, and I'll do that now. Thanks for watching the video from Mark and Jim and Simo and several dogs today from Tough Touring, and geez, I need a haircut. Thanks a lot, bye.